assalamu alaikum friends welcome to another video of q where they uh, think about the red cow and they consider that uh, when there are 10 red cows are uh, when there are slaughtered 10 red cows it will be the era of the child watch and also uh, listen to Dr. Zakanak's speech about the arrival of the Dajjal. In September 2022, five red heifers were flown from the state of Texas into the occupied lands. They paid around $100,000 for each cow. Since last year, one of these cows have been disqualified, but the other four cows continue to be suitable candidates for the sacrifice. To better understand what this ritual is, we must look at what is stated in their scripture regarding it. In the book of Numbers chapter 19, it is stated that, And the Lord spoke to Moses and to Aaron, saying, This is the ordinance of the law which the Lord has commanded, saying, Speak to the children of Israel, that they bring you a red heifer without spot, wherein is no blemish, and upon which never came yoke. And you shall give her to Eleazar the priest, that he may bring her forth without the camp, and one shall slay her before his face. And Eleazar the priest shall take of her blood with his finger, and sprinkle of her blood directly before the tabernacle of the congregation seven times. And one shall burn the heifer in his sight, her skin, and her flesh, and her blood, with her dung, shall he burn. And the priest shall take cedar wood, and hyssop, and scarlet, and cast it into the midst of the burning of the heifer. The red heifer is a female bovine which has never been pregnant or milked or yoked, also known as the red cow. It was brought to the priests as a sacrifice according to the Torah, and its ashes were used for ritual purification. According to their rabbis, since the time of Moses, only nine red heifers have been sacrificed. The last time one was sacrificed was just before the second temple was destroyed by the Romans, on the Mount of Olives opposite to the Temple Mount. According to their rabbis, when the tenth cow is to be sacrificed, they will enter into the age of Dajjal, but to them, he will be their awaited Messiah. The Temple Institute is preparing for this event to take place soon. After the sacrifice takes place, you will see an unprovoked attack against Al-Aqsar like never before. Their intentions are utter destruction, to the point in which they can commence building the Temple of Dajjal on top of the ruins of Al-Aqsar. They believe once the third temple is completed, it will speed up the coming of their Messiah, known to Muslims as the Dajjal, who will deceive the entire world, except those who have true faith in their Creator. The true believers will see through the deception and lies and will not be manipulated. It is clear that the end times are getting closer, and the solution is to connect with our Creator unlike ever before. Once the connection is established, the guidance will come from the source of all guidance. Uh, who is the Antichrist and when it, it will come and who will fight with him? Can you enlighten on that? Well, that's the question Islamically, who is the Antichrist and who will fight? There are various hadith talking about the Dajjal. The Dajjal will come and Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, will come again. He will be raised up alive by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And in his second coming, he will fight against his Dajjal. And the various hadith talking about the Dajjal, that he will be one-eyed, etc. So many people have given their own view who the Dajjal will be. So there are hadiths talking about the Dajjal. So surely before the world ends, this Dajjal will come. He will be born. Isa al will come again. He will see to that he kills this Dajjal. Medhi Salam will come. And Khilafah will be established. So all these are there. So this is basically talking about the Dajjal, where the various hadiths talking about it. Is the Dajjal related to Jews? Is it from Jews? No, no. See, many things what is mentioned in the Bible may have also been mentioned in the Quran. What is mentioned in the Quran is also mentioned in the Bible. We agree it is correct. But there are many things which are mentioned there in the Bible, which is not mentioned in the Quran, so it comes in the Mubah category optional. But there are some things which are mentioned in the Bible, which is again in the Quran and Sahih Hadith that we don't have to agree at all. So whenever you read any other scripture, whether it be the Bible, whether it be the Veda, or any other religious scripture, there are three categories. One is what matches with Quran and Sahih Hadith. Whatever matches with Quran and Sahih Hadith, we have to follow it, and we agree it is correct. What goes against the Quran and Hadith, we say it is wrong. What does not go against, matches comes in Mubah category, maybe right, maybe wrong. So there are things also mentioned about Antichrist in the Bible that there will be 666 mentioned, triple six. You know, all these things are there. So whatever matches with the Quran, we agree. What is against the Quran, we disagree. What is optional, maybe right, maybe wrong. Hope that answers the question. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I am uh, Dr. Firdos. My question is that we know from the Ahadith that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about the fitness or afflictions of Dajjal and according to some of the hadith we are informed that uh, Dajjal will reach every house he will show you water which you cannot drink and he will show you fire which will not burn you uh, can we consider TV to be one of the afflictions of Dajjal? First of all the question that there are hadith talking about Dajjal which are Sahih hadith there are some scholars including she has quoted that that some of the scholars say that this television, you know, can't Dajjal, one-eyed Dajjal, screen is only one eye, so this is the Dajjal. So can't we consider this as the Dajjal? There's no hadith saying TV is Dajjal, whether TV is or not. 
you know what we have to do? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that when you stand for Salah, don't leave any gap. Close in your gap. So that there's no place for the shaitan. Sahih Bukhari, volume number one, book of Adhan, chapter 75, hadith number 692. The same hadith is repeated in Sunnah Abu Dawud, volume number one, in the book of Salah, chapter number 245, hadith number 666. That when you stand for Salah, stand shoulder to shoulder, close in your gaps, so that the Satan doesn't come. Even if you consider this as the Dajjal, you convert the Dajjal into a Muslim. Change this TV media into a true media and propagate it. There is no proof that television is a Dajjal. But even if you consider it to be a Dajjal, what we have to do is we have to use this media to propagate the Haq. So that we can testify to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that we have tried our level best to convey the message to the world and give the message of Islam to the whole of humankind. Welcome back friends. I hope you enjoy the video till the last minute. My dear brother and sister, the, the Jews, they consider the red cow is very important innovation for their self. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala clearly mentioned in the Holy Quran that Asbahu Baqarah qalu wa tattakhzuna huzwa qala huzu billahi anafuna minal jahileen. Uh, there is a story that uh, in the Bani Israel, they, there uh, a person was found, he was killed. And no one knows that who, are, uh, who, who killed uh, this person. So there, uh, the, 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 the people went to the Prophet Musa and they uh, taught him that, Oh Musa, someone killed our brother. Kindly you can ask from Almighty Allah that who is the killer, who killed that person. So uh, Musa, angel, so the Prophet Musa uh, ask from Almighty Allah, so Almighty Allah give him the solution that you should consider, a cow, you should take a cow, slaughter it and take a piece of meat and just uh, touch it on the dead body, he will be uh, alive again and then you will ask, uh, ask from him that who killed you, so he will tell you the answer. Now this is a very simple and very logic question, a very logical uh, answer from Almighty Allah that you just uh, take uh, just kill and slaughter one cow and take meat. You can take any cow, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, talk to him. So the Bani Israel, they himself make it difficult for us because they every time they come to the Musa and they said, what will be the color of the uh, cow and uh, how old will be she and uh, does she will give birth to the uh, kid or not. So by asking different kind of questions, they make the task very difficult for themselves. That's why we can say that they have not, they have uh, no common sense in their body at the time. That's why they make it difficult for themselves. Later on when they found and then they uh, found the exact cow, what uh, the signs uh, tell them by the prophet Jesus, by the prophet Moses. So now then they slaughter it and then they uh, mm, touch it with the body of the dead body. Now she, uh, he come again and then he talk to him that who killed me. So that's why the uh, Jews, they considered the red cow uh, are very favorable and the most uh, favorable uh, innovation of their self. Now they think that uh, nine uh, cows are, has been slaughtered. But if they kill ten, so it will be the era of the child. Now who is the child? Uh, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that on the sign on the day of uh, near to the uh, tomb's day, the the child will become, and uh, you know he will have a lot of power. He Allah subhanahu wa taala will give him the power that he will give uh, life to the dead body, and he also give uh, death to the live body. So most of the people will be at that time they will be slip on their iman and they will just say that he is God. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala save us from the fitna of the jal. Our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said that whoever recite on uh, Thursday and Friday the Surah Al-Kahf, he will be safe from the fitna of the jal. And near to the room the Dajjal will become, then the Jesus will also come, he will kill the Dajjal. Whenever he kill the Dajjal, then the Jesus will also uh, off and uh, it will be the great sign of the doomsday. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us our iman and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us from each and every kind of fitna whether it is the jal or whether it is jujma juj or whether it's a dabbatul ard. You know dabbatul ard, a very huge animal will be come out from the earth near to the doomsday. 
so there are a lot of things with, uh, with, uh, which, uh, which will be happen near to the doomsday so my dear brother and sister do not believe on these kind of fact things like uh, the Christian and the Jews they are thinking of the Jal and most of the people they think that the television is also a kind of the Jal because he has one eye no uh, actually you cannot say that it is the Jal but the Jal will have more power he will have a power that uh, he will give for life to the per uh, person but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give uh, this power only one time in his entire life he will only give one life to the person only one time so that's why most of the people they will be believe on him and they will be take uh, faith on him so they in this time they will destroy their iman my dear brother and sister do not believe on such kind of blunder and just believe that there is only one almighty allah he is the one and he is the lord and we will back and return to the almighty allah as well I hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, subscribe the channel and share it with your friends.